Hello and welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my channel all about the crafty bits and pieces I get up to. I knit, I sew, I spin on a drop spindle, I dabble in weaving from time to time and anything else that takes my crafty fancy really. Now this week is a technique video. We are looking at one pass brioche. So put your feet up, grab a brew and let's get started. Welcome, welcome back to any returning viewers and to any new viewers, a very warm welcome to you. As I mentioned in the intro to this video, we are looking at how to do one pass brioche in this uh, video. Now, brioche is a form of uh, ribbing. Um, I use it for two colour brioche. Um, I haven't done much in the way of one colour brioche. Um, so this will be a two colour brioche, how to do one pass. Typically, brioche is written to be worked in two passes one with the, the main colour and then you come back and do the second pass with the contrast colour. But it doesn't have to be, it can be done in one go and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So you'll need two coloured yarns to, to carry out this technique. For my sample I've uh, cast on 72 stitches in the round, um, which is what I cast on for socks, just because it's a nice even number and we need an even number for, um, for brioche. So I will shift the camera around and show you how I get going with brioche using the one pass technique. Okay so as you can see I have cast on 72 stitches um, of one by one ribbing, so knit one pearl one, um, like you would for the cuff of a sock, um, ready to give a demonstration of the uh, one pass brioche. So I've got blue as my main colour and this fiery variegated red, orange, yellow as my contrast colour. So the blue is going to be the bark stitches, the brioche knit stitches, and the red is going to be the burp stitches, the brioche pearl stitches. So normal standard brioche, you'd work one round of the knit, one round of the pearl, one round of the knit, one round of the pearl. Uh, so you're basically only working half the stitches in any given round. For one pass brioche, you work the knits and the pearls in the same round um, with both colours, so knit with the main, pearl with contrast, using yarn overs as you would with the, the two parts as well. So to get us started, it's really very simple, I'm going to take my contrast colour and I'm going to start with a yarn over, so I'm going to put my little tail, enough to weave in just through the middle. And I'm going to leave that contrast yarn at the front of my work. I'm going to take my yarn to the back and I'm going to knit that first stitch. So I've got my contrast yarn over and my first stitch knitted. Then I'm going to bring both yarns to the top, making sure that my contrast tail doesn't run away anywhere. And I'm going to purl the next stitch in contrast colour. Knit in the main colour, bringing contrast colour yarn to the back of the work, bring both yarns to the front and purl the next stitch. So bringing my yarns over the back. So you see I'm just mainly working with my main colour at the moment because I can actually create the yarn over when I bring both yarns to the front ready to purl the next stitch. So I keep going the whole way round in the same manner to create the first row of my one pass brioche. So knit in the main when uh, fingers coordinate. <laughs> uh, knit in the main colour both yarns to the front and pearl in the contrast colour. Now you will find that you get your yarns tangled a bit doing this, which is fine. Just stop every once in a while and hold the, uh, the needles so that they're dangling and they will spin and um, 
on Tango Yi Yon. So overall it is a little bit quicker than standard brioche as long as you don't mind having to stop every once in a while to untangle your yarns because you can kind of avoid that a bit with a standard brioche um, but it will look exactly the same once it's all done okay so I'm going to keep uh, working in the same manner if I was going to be doing a proper piece of brioche um, but channeling my best Blue Peter presenter here's one I prepared earlier so you can see we've worked a few rows now of the brioche so it's looking like that on the front and that on the back and once you're in the run of things with your brioche it just carries on in the same way so I'm going to knit the stitch and the yarn over together bring both yarns to the front and purl the stitch and the yarn over together as if they are one stitch so knit in the main and purl in the contrast treating the yarn over and the stitch as one exactly the same as you would in two pass brioche The trick to remember is that you are essentially keeping your yarn at the front of the work but bringing it around the back of the needle between stitches. And there we go, that's how you work. One pass brioche in the round with two colours. So I hope you found that useful and interesting. I'd love to see your One Pass Brioche project, so feel free to tag me on Instagram or Twitter at you so you. Now, that's all I have for you this week, but we do have some more Technique videos coming up. I aim to post a video once every weekend. So uh, once a month, it's like a, what I've been making the previous month, podcasty type video. And in between, it's either project-based or technique-based or me just waffling at the camera. Um, so yeah, so like and subscribe down below if you want to see more of, of this. And uh, yeah, ding that bell for notifications, let all the YouTubers tell you. And I will see you next time. So until then, happy crafting and bye bye for now.